unboxing time again and a little behind the scenes um for those that are really paying attention you'll notice like the videos have will have like similar times on that clock on the back i'm trying to get back into the routine it's i've been struggling um to like find a balance a good routine but um I, it always inspires me when i have brands like this volcane um something that i'm actually interested in or something new i'll edit that out um it like it makes me want to come down here and actually do this like i i don't want to sound like you know woe is me or whatever but like you know when you're doing the volume of videos and the watches that i show and get to see like it's um, a little desensitized to it so sometimes sometimes you guys will get pick up on some emotion sometimes you won't pick up on emotion it really just kind of depends on the scenario but i am legit excited to see this one like there was some weird shipping details going back and forth but then once i noticed that it was actually moving and it was headed my way i was like yes this is going to happen so um here it is in all its glory sorry i had to wipe it with my thumb because my microfiber's over there Love the K-shape, excellent orange dial, of course, no date, so clean, and a very good size. I think this will work on a lot of wrist. It might even be a little bit smaller than I technically prefer, but it's definitely a doable size. Let's check bezel action. Nice bezel action. Sometimes, you know, you guys know it, like we buy these watches and, you know, unless you have that reference point of like say a video or a forum or something like that videos are the easiest way to tell you know like if you don't if you can't go hands-on but you might buy a watch and then the first thing you open it up and you go spin the bezel and you're like oh you know it could be bad this one's good it's good right out of the box so clean overall really digging that dial very vintage inspired but yet that beautiful orange that i like and there's a look at the case back so on my wrist, oh yeah, that'll totally work. And maybe I'll put it on a mesh or a strap habit or, I'm not sure. This strap, probably one of the better tropical straps. I'm typically not a tropical strap, strap guy just because I don't like the way they come off the case. I like the, the FKM rubbers that I get from strap habit because they already have a predetermined like you know jet away from the case and then they turn so a lot of times what happens with these i don't like them because they kind of squeeze the fat on my wrist this one is like so pliable that it actually doesn't do that so yeah i would potentially wear this on this tropical strap like this is a nice watch i i'm digging it so full video soon but because i'm not sure when it's going to happen oh I don't have my UV light. I took it upstairs. Well, we'll just see what it does with just the quick exposure to the studio lights. Let's see what it does. There we go. Plenty of loom. No date orange dial. That's pretty much my, my go-to these days. You give me a no date orange dial diver and I am interested. So thank you, Volcane, for keeping me interested. I'll see you guys on the next vid.